the sport news named Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese co women athletes of the year. But everyone who knows anything about women's basketball knows that Caitlin Clark should have been <laughs> should have been the player of the year by herself, man. Press one. Angel Reese was not a star till she did this. She was a good player, don't get me wrong, but she wasn't a star. She was a good player. No one saying she wasn't a good player. But she wasn't a star as far as like notoriety till she got in the white girl face and did all that shit. I'm gonna show you something. I know this is I know a lot of you guys don into women's basketball. But this is stuck in my craw for a while, and I didn't want to expose this. I didn't want to expose Angel Reese, but I have to expose you, young lady. Um, I have to expose you, man. I didn't want to do this, man. Um, and make sure you guys um hit the like button, continue to hit the like button, and all that. I'm expose you, Angel Reese. This is getting on my nerves, man. This is getting on my nerves, man, because I actually watch women's basketball. For some reason, don't ask me why. I watch women's basketball from time to time. I watch it more than I watch the men's, and I rarely watch the men's. I can't stand the men's game now. They're fucking traveling and walking up and down the court. Everything, I, I, I... these new moves with the gather step, that shit just looks like traveling to me. So I don't really like it like that. But I watch it sometime. Caitlin Clark is by far the better player. She's by far the bigger star before the championship game. Coming into the championship game, Caitlin Clark was a, a household name in um, women's basketball c- circles. And Angel Reese was... She was known, but she wasn't. No one thought of her as a star. Soon as she did this shit and taunted the white girl, she kind of like sapped her power. For some reason, like that moment, she sapped all the power from that white girl and became the bigger star. And now people are saying they got a problem with Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark sharing co athletes of the year. When everyone knows. LSU didn't win the championship because of Angel Reese. She was part of the team. LSU has like 10 five-star athletes on their team. The only five-star athlete on Iowa's team is Caitlin Clark. You saw when Angel Reese went down early, when she left the team because she got benched earlier this year. You saw that when she left the team because she got benched earlier the team for mental health reasons because she couldn't handle getting benched. The girl who replaced her averaged 30 points a game in one player of the week. (laughs) Press one. The girl who replaced her scored 30 points a game and and became ESPN in every play, every, um, publications player of the week because they got nothing but great players the lsu they the, the the top players in the country all want to go to lsu and south carolina and yukon stuff like that baylor iowa got that one little white girl playing out there with a bunch of other mediocre white girls This is annoying me. Now you got sisters bitching about them sharing athlete of the year. This sister says, they only ever do this when a black person is athlete of the year. Really? All the time LeBron James won the athlete of the year every most years is a black person. The athlete of the year most years is a black person. (laughs) 
And now they calling her Jim Carrey. This woman, this woman is calling um Caitlin Clark Jim Carrey. I, I gotta do this, man. I didn't want to do this, but yeah, she made me, man. She won't shut up. I mean, her fans won't shut up. This is why this girl got benched. Watch this shit. Look at this shit. This is why this girl got benched. So pick and roll was terrible. So right here, Ole and Reese doesn't even get in front of her. You see that? This is why she was benched. And after this, after getting benched, she left the team for mental health reasons because she couldn't handle being benched. Watch these plays. This guy breaks down why she got benched. Watch this. Why? So pick and roll was terrible. So right here, Olay and Reese doesn't even get in front or try anything. He just gives it the old Olay, which looks awful on film. Once again, Van Leith, she should have fought through harder on that pick as well. But Reese is, you know, help right there. And then the wave, you know, Mulkey's not impressed. Now on this one, just look at the bottom, how she gives that position to the big girl on inside. And again, Reese is down there. She just easily gives up position, doesn't even fight, and just gets sort of pushed off. And that's not the stuff Mulkey loves. Now, in this one, it's third quarter. Reese has two fouls, but she doesn't challenge it. Comes right in the middle. Reese just backs up and moves away from it. I mean, oof, not good on film. On this one, she just wants Reese just lets her get too low on positioning. And again, just gets her in too low and Mulkey says she knows she's small, but you sort of need to front her or change positions and work hard. On this play, Reese isn't even looking in the middle. She's not even looking to help. Oh, there she goes down the middle. I mean, I don't know. She realizes she's lost the ball already but right there. She's just totally focused on her man and just, oh, wow, she's coming down the lane. Hmm, how did that happen? And that's not what you want for you. This is your star. This is your star. This is Miss Black America. Look how lazy she is on the court. Look how lazy she is on the court. Press one. You're big. You know, you want to be coming across and getting in the way and making you uncomfortable. Now, this pick and roll between Poole and Reese is just bad. Just bad, bad, bad. It's probably got Poole in the doghouse. Poole doesn't fight through. Then Reese is slow and then just whacks the hell out of her. Once again, pick doesn't fight through. They don't switch or talk and boom. Now, the next one was at the end of the game. This is where she gets double pinned. Candace Parker pointed this out. You can tell Candace Parker is like, they're getting their ass kicked on defense right there. So she fronts her right there, gets the opening right there, then works her that side and then gets it schooled. And it's over. Let's hear Mulkey again talking about the virtues of defense. So that's why she left the team. She left the team because the coach benched her. The coach benched her for this for, for playing like some some hot garbage. So she got mad and left the team. And the coach didn't expose her. The coach tried to take the bullets. The coach was like, "I'm not talking about it. I'm not talking about it." <laughs> what did N words do? N words called the coach racist. And blamed her. Press one. <laughs> yeah, and that ain't even her hair. She, she playing bad because she got this long hair that ain't even her hair. Playing like some hot garbage. And then the, the coach is supposed to just let her keep playing. 